Hi there everyone, this is Susan and I am coming to you with the June Felicity Jane kit. Um, I have gone through it, I have opened it. Um, I am a little behind. Look, I'm going to just stop for a second. Look how cute this tissue paper is. It used to be the really tiny, well not tiny, but oh, and I don't have any right here at my fingertips, the smaller uh, polka dot. I'm so glad they switched it out. And this ribbon, of course, is amazing, and I try to use it in my layouts. Although I think I've only actually truly used it in one layout. But I'm going to empty out the contents here. I'm going to do the papers first. And then I'll do the stamps and the embellishments second. Um, I have been, I guess you could say, a little MIA. And I, I just think, it's not because I want, like every night I think, oh, I want to get up and scrapbook, I want to scrapbook. Whoops, because I knock things down. But I, I was going through a lot of health issues, and I have been released from bed rest. But now... We have a lot of stresses going on, you know, different things that um, I have to pay and, you know, just different things altogether. And sometimes if you're really stressed out, it's I think it's hard to get creative and for me it is. So I am going to try to do better. Maybe this will help alleviate some of the stress that I'm under by being able to scrapbook, you know, and, and take my mind off of everything. So I do apologize. Uh, my health is okay. It's just everything else. It feels like it's falling apart. But not to be so overly dramatic. But sometimes that just is the way it is. So, the papers this month. I don't know why I'm not getting two. I always, I thought I was on an auto ship to get uh, the the extra paper. So, I'm going to go and order the extra paper today. Because I need the extra paper. You know, I have too many kids to, to scrapbook. <laughs> not to get the extra paper. Anyway, so we're going to start with this sheet of paper. I love this stripe, and I really like the uh, um, branding strip. I like the broken uh, lines. I think that's really cute. This is very summery to me. I love that. And I also like this. This is kind of a powder blue pattern, um, which is like the wavy not a very straight line. It looks like it's kind of scribble lined, uh, plaid type, but very cute. But I would, out of the two, I would use this side probably more than the other. Although I could see matting photos in the other one. I love this one too. Kind of this rainbow diagonal stripe. And I love diagonal stripes for matting the whole page. Um, I'm sure you all have seen it, but like, and what I mean by matting the whole page, say I want this you know, like I would frame this paper and use this, you know, and cut this out by like 11 by 11 so that you get this one inch border that is so cute. So I love paper like this. I don't know what this side is. <gasps> oh yeah, I need the second paper pack because I love this floral. And see all these flowers, these really pretty big ones are on the outside, not in the middle. So even if I gut this page, I'm never going to get one of those great big florals. I'll have to get with Jenna. I have asked her two months in a row about the double pa getting the paper pack, but I'll just order it because this is beautiful. Felicity Jane is very well known for their florals and their black and white prints. Their florals are like no other. I love this. And look how pretty it matches this. That is gorgeous. Or even this one. Wow. I love all that. But Again, I love the floral, but I love this side too, so that's why I need the second paper pack. I could see me using both sides. And then look at the cute branding strip. Look at the little X's with the... That is super cute. Sorry. I have the dogs in here with me, and somebody must have just walked by. This one is um, a yellow, like... Uh, squiggly line which I really love I like the yellow a lot I don't do a lot in yellow but I, I like it and I could see matting a photo in this because this is a little too busy for my eyes or using a small strip but I really love the branding strip in the rainbow colored hearts very very cute but I could see using this side and I'm not even a huge fan of yellow but I could see using this side like to map photos or a little strip somewhere so I'll keep it on that side 
because that's the side I will most likely will use. And then there's this one. I love this. Uh, they're like circles, but they're cut in half. So they're half circles, and they have like a light blue and a, and a well, like a light aqua and a darker aqua. And the branding strip is like a polka dot. I don't know if that's pink. It's like a pale pink. Very cute. And then the other side is this very small checked, um, kind of a salmon-y color. I would use either one of those sides. Very nice. I love it. The next paper is just like those, that branding strip, those dots, that is what this is here. So it's that, I don't know, I think it's a pale pink, or it might be like a light, light beigey color. I cannot tell what that color is, but it would be great for a background because it's so neutral. And then there's that one, which is very, not the destination it says live for the journey not the destination that's what this paper is I wonder if that's all of them no but anyway i like this paper too i'm not sure how i'd use it so most likely i would use this side oh and i saved the best for last look at that if any of you have been watching my channel enough to know i have a thing for polka dot stripes and wood grain wood grain is right up there like almost number one i love wood grain I don't know why. I don't even know that I've used it all that much. I kind of hoard it. I don't kind of. I do hoard it. And I like the branding strip. Just that single uh, diagonal stripe line. That's cute. But this, I love this. And then the other side is the cutter parts. I love the cutter parts that Felicity Jane sends us. There's always a 4 by 6 uh, cut apart in the middle. And it says, here comes the sun, which I think is great for summer and then you have like journaling blocks a place for pictures things to see and the little stars like the the little bullet points where you can check it off again with the floral the yellow and stripe i love the little heart i i don't often use this i usually cut the heart out but maybe i'll use it this time so much happy i love this journaling block be cute to put a picture up here with something on there important and then today i love this type of of card if I should ever start doing my project life like I thought I would and then didn't, this is the type of thing I'd like to journal on and, and have this, the prompt be today and then write about what that picture was that day. So very cute papers. Then we got some Felicity Jane cardstock. And this side is like a light blue and this is like a salmon-y color. Kind of a light salmon. It matches the... Uh, the pattern papers perfectly and then when you flip it over the salmon color is the lighter I guess I should have shown the lighter colors first and then the the lighter aqua ends up being the darker aqua which I think is really cute the branding strip is like a the light aqua on that side same thing with this branding strip I like to do a lot of eight and a half by eleven I could see cutting this into an eight and a half by eleven and leaving this little strip here for like the top or even the bottom. I could do that with both of them if I choose to cut eight and a half by 11, which I've been doing a lot of lately. Okay, so that's the papers. That's the front side. And here's the other side. I don't know exactly what is A and B. I just know I flip whichever ones I think I'd use the most outside of the, the cut aparts. I'd actually use this. Gosh, I don't know. See, I'm gonna stop right now. Or I'll stop as soon as I'm done here, and then I'm going to go order my second piece, uh, pack of paper because I have to have it. I just do. Each of the kits come with this, uh, these cut apart sticker stock paper. Um, what am I trying to say? This is stickers, and what you do is you have to cut them apart, or punch them, or whatever, however you like to do it. But this is sticker paper, and you just peel off the back and stick it down. This month we got two of them and here is some like like a uh, sticker strips like a washi booklet but they're sticker here's a, a border one some tabs some tags i love the different labels and all the colors match 
the cards, um, the, the paper pack perfectly. And then this one is kind of like a bonus. I love the little banners and then the word bubbles, but the flamingo. I just took pictures of a swim party we had last week, and in the pool was a flamingo, and I kept telling everybody, somebody get in that pool with that flamingo. The flamingo, I have so many kits with flamingos in it, I've got to use them up. Being that I live in the desert and not where there's a flamingo, Trust me, I took my as many op photo opportunities as I could with the flamingo, and now I have a good, I have something to use it on. Not to mention, I have a lot of flamingo stuff. But I love the ice cream and the camera and the um, cassette tape and the glasses, the geotags. There's n this says, Memory Sunshine 2016. All this, all the smiles, summer, so much fun. Wow, all. All packed, all the smiles, must see, amazing, no way, smile, a little obsessed, that would be me, uh, heart eyes, playlist, June, here, my happy place, you and me, this moment, that was awesome. This is awesome. This alone is just awesome. I mean, like, in if you order just the paper pack, you're going to get all these papers and these two sticker stock cut aparts because that's what the papers come with. That right there is all you really need. You have everything you can use to make scrapbook pages without even having the whole kit. And I think the paper pack is only like $5.97. So heck, you have the card stock, you have the pattern paper, and you have embellishments if you want to cut them out and pop them up. You could even put like Wink Stella on some of them to add some glittery aspects. You've got everything you need right here. Although I would actually recommend getting the kit because the kit is just awesome. So the kit comes with this amazing stamp set and it has one of those Avery L. Um, oh, great. Avery L, and it's way on the other side. Hang on one second. Yeah, we'll just keep, let it ring. So this um, says, are we there yet? Next stop. This totally happened. Awesome. Here we go. Good times. Where I stand for real. The plan from up here on the road. Details of today. The view from down here so and it says the next step which is actually the, the name of this kit but with, I like the little arrows I love the little frame everything about this is just so cute and a lot of these will fit right inside of here but mainly what's really nice is a lot of these are, are meant to fit inside the little labels so you could stamp them in there I mean it's just so cute this whole kit is just adorable but this stamp set makes this whole kit worth everything. So cute stamp set. We also got this exclusive Felicity Jane chipboard alphabet. Sorry, that was not on there. Look how cute this is. These are such good quality. I mean, they're nice and thick and sturdy. I love these. So we do get some numbers. I love that there's only one Q because nobody really uses a Q. I think, well, I don't know that I could cut it off, but I have one girl out of six, seven kids, and she could be the queen bee, so I could use that cue, no problem. And she is the queen bee, trust me, she rules the roost. <laughs> anyway, love this cardstock sheet. We also got some exclusive die cuts that actually like pop right out. So just showing you how that works. There's some exclusive die cuts, and it says adventure, 100% fun. Starting here, my favorite place. This says adventure, happy, sunshine, fun, travel. They're like little posted, or little, actually, they look like um, posted stamps, or they could like little Polaroids. Remember, rest stop, and then ticket. I love the little ticket stubs, and of course, the florals that match the other florals. I just wanted to show you how easily they popped out. Okay, and then we have the flare badges. I love the little flower and the heart. It says hello summer and road trip. Really cute. This is adorable. This is like a very neutral uh, washi tape that says Felicity Jane so I'm sure it's exclusive. So they are going with exclusive product now which I love because they've always had their own exclusive um, papers. So it's just a like a pinstripe 
uh, maybe a cream on white washi tape. Very nice. I like that. And then the last thing we have is some wood veneer. And it is this bag, this glassine bag, is embossed with like a Swiss dot. Really, really cute. Okay, so this wood veneer comes with two little frames, wooden frames, that are very nice. Nothing's on it, just just some frames. I don't know if this would fit the Instax. Maybe. I don't have one, but I'd like to get one. And then this is like a little Polaroid. This says, we made it this way. Very cute. Here. Hi. Has a, a nice little ampersand. It's a really nice one. It's a nice size. Uh, this says hello. This one says adventure. I really like this. There's so much. Another ampersand sign, which is a little smaller. But that's okay. I like the smaller ones, too. I like it all. I love everything about Felicity Jane. If you're ever on the fence, you should at least give them a shot. There's some of these little uh, stars that I like. There's three of those. And then this that says, relax. Yeah, that is an R. And it did not get broken. So it says relax, and I love that. So... I am, like I said, sorry that it has taken me so long to get back to filming or scrapbooking, but I am going to come back with a video that is going to match up some pictures that I have with this kit. I watched Sarah Swan do her reveal kit, like when Hip Kit comes in. What, one of the things I love that she does is that she takes her photos and she'll like match it up right there on camera to the paper pack. You know what she, what papers are going to go with which photo so i'm going to take a look at my photos match it up with the the paper and this will be the one i am really behind on some of my kits but i'm going to start with the most recent and work my way backwards so i think one month one week i'm going to do the recent kit and then the next week i'm going to work on the one that i'm behind on and then i'll i'll just keep flip-flopping back and forth until i have both kits killed so anyway my next video i do have um, a hip kit unboxing because that came this week as well i was a little behind in getting my hip kit as well but so i have that unboxing and then i will come back with photos to match up with this if you're interested let me know if not i'd like to know if you don't want to see that kind of thing i just i loved her process so i thought i'd try my own um and maybe I won't be able to get there. I don't know. I have a lot of kids in the house today. It is a full household. It is summer, right? So anyway, I will be back next Friday with a process video. I don't know if it'll be Felicity Jane. I have a video that I started a few weeks ago that has some older, like, retired Stampin' Up! products. Um, but I really love the layout, so I'm going to continue on. And then I'll have my hip kit, not my hip kit, my Felicity Jane. But I also want to start some of my hip kits because talk about I've only done one hip kit out of the over the year that I've been subscribing I'm more of a hoarder so I've got to get over that so anyway thank you all very much I would love it if you would subscribe we are almost to 300 I am at 234 subscribers when I hit 300 we are going to do another video video another giveaway um, so please give me a thumbs up I love comments. Uh, lately, I haven't had, like I said, stress has made me very unmotivated for a lot of things, but I am going to go today and start answering everybody who has left me comments. Um, I hope you all have a great day, and keep scrapping, because I know I'm, I'm very anxious to get back on this workbench and start scrapbooking again. So, thank you all for all the videos that you post that keep me motivated and keep me excited about this craft. I really needed them. I've used the videos as an escape, you know, from all the stressors that I've had in my household. So keep those videos coming because people like me that need them as an escape to, from all the pressure and everything that's been happening here, I really appreciate it. So thank you. Bye.